So we believe, if you look at the um, 2021 action plan on here, the reason it says action plan, because I believe this is the year for our church to, to move forward. This is the year of action for us. This is the year that faith rises. I want to just talk about our three pillars. Encounter God's presence. That's the first thing. What does that look like? It looks like walking in here and encountering God's presence. I want to give honor to our the founding pastors because they created a well for us to walk into. Zach and Rochelle have so I just wanted to honor them for that. The second pillar of our house is encounter authentic community. Authentic community so that you will know you are home. This is family. The next pillar, which is identity in Christ. Encountering your identity in Christ. This is another one of our three pillars. I want you guys to know this so that when you're out in the community and people are like, well, what's, what's encounter about? You can say we are about encountering God's presence. We are about encountering authentic community. And we are about encountering your identity in Christ. Not just encountering identity, encountering your identity in Christ. The truth of who you are. God's truth. God's truth over you. 2021 action plan, our vision, continue community outreach. Well, we started off with um, feeding the homeless on a monthly basis. Uh, we typically take four cars and we pack them all, pack them all up with clothing, food, and we're gonna have a probably a huge. Yeah, we want to do. We want once a year. We want to do a real big event. We do Christmas is, was a big yes, as, was, was a big deal this mm -hmm. year too. How many yes. of you guys saw what we did? We get this whole place was packed and so with toys and we gave so away blessed. a ton of toys. We want to do a real big where we're all involved and then we're just going to come and we're going to go and we're going to just we're going to just minister to the city with food, with clothes, with uh, toiletries. This is for you Henderson. This is the the tangible love of God. Harvest Partners were something we did, I don't know, a couple years ago. And so we're going to keep Harvest Partners, but we're going to just, we're going to change the name, kind of re rebrand it a little bit. We're calling it Encounter Partners. So the Encounter Partners will be those who commit to give above the tithe so that we could fulfill the mission and vision of this church to advancing the kingdom. I commit to, and then you fill out your amount per month above and beyond my ties to partner with the vision and mission of Encounter Church Las Vegas. I'm looking at March for women's discipleship and this spring session will probably be um, a six to eight week commitment. One of the uh, calls of the church is the disciple nations. And so we want to we want to be a church that disciples. So, um, so really quickly, um, when I took this over, um, I wanted to have like things that I built the children's ministry on. And so really quickly, it's worship, okay? Um, a relationship with the home or with parents, impartation, teaching, and excitement. I am over there in the nursery. Usually you'll see me um, on Sundays. I'm the one making sure that there are no weirdos holding your babies. On Wednesday nights, I run the youth group. So we changed the name of our youth group, if you didn't see. So we used to be YTH Vegas, and then um, when I took over, I was like, we need something. We got to spice it up. We need a little something, something. So our goal, um, really, for every single person that comes into our youth group is to encounter Jesus, encounter identity, that we're not wandering around our high school and junior high halls like, I don't know who I am, but we're able to step into these halls and be like, this is who I am, and because I know who I am, now I can tell you who you are. Yeah. So the <clears throat> purpose of a care pastor is to care. I can't care if I don't know who I'm supposed to care for. Also, if you if you just want to talk, you know, I'm here every, I can be here every afternoon. I'm here anyway. I'm pretty much my wife says I live here. But if you just want to talk about something, just um, come by and we can sit out here on the couch if you want to and just just discuss things, anything you want to talk about, because we care for you. We want to show that we care for you. My other passion that I didn't mention is Wednesday night. Disciple is a student. I firmly believe in teaching the word. So as we're listening, as you're hearing what the vision is, I want to challenge you at the very core and fiber of who you are as a believer, as a citizen of the kingdom, to orient your heart to seeing God in all of this vision because you cannot partner with what you can't see.
It's impossible to follow what you can't see. And so they're laying out the heart of heaven for us. And when we can see that and we can follow it, we understand that they're leading us into such a place of goodness. God is taking us into such a place of greatness. So it's important that we catch the vision. I want to challenge you to write down what is the vision? What are our core things? Write those things down because as you write them down, they become solidified in who you are and that you will never. Nothing can divide your heart from the vision that God has for our church and that that will empower you to get up and run with the vision. We'll get up and we'll run with the river and flow with it. So, I mean, I wore my tracksuit. I decided to run with the vision. I don't know why y'all came like this. It's go time. This is the year of action, right? It's the year of action. So we're running with the vision. So I'm excited. Yeah.